Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you all know that our channel is constantly devoted to promote well-being. So far, we have discussed about a lot, many things from diet to exercises. But there is one aspect we haven't touched yet. Did you know that our oral health is connected to our overall health in entirety? Today, let us dive into an important topic that often goes unnoticed when discussing our general well-being, and that is our oral health. We always say that a healthy smile is not just about looking good, but it is also about what is going on in your body. It's crucial to understand that oral health is not isolated from the rest of the body, instead is an integral part of it. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating link between oral health and our body. But before we move forward, please subscribe to our channel, if you haven't already. Press the bell icon below. Do you know how important oral health is? Poor oral health can contribute to various health issues like gum disease, mouth ulcers, bad breath, and dry mouth etc. It also reflects signs and symptoms of many systemic diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even certain types of cancer. Let us look at some of these links in detail. Most common is gum disease or periodontitis. Gum diseases are classically linked to heart disease. Not that we are scaring you, but it is seen that the bacteria from infected gums can enter the bloodstream which will further cause inflammation in the arteries and increase the risk of heart problems. Also, did you know that diabetes and gum disease go hand in hand? People with uncontrolled diabetes are more prone to gum disease. Whenever you find raised blood sugar levels in your body, you tend to attract more bacteria in your oral cavity leading to inflammation. Another such condition related to dental health is respiratory problems. When harmful bacteria from mouth get inhaled into lungs, they can also exacerbate respiratory conditions like pneumonia and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. Oral health issues can also have an impact on your mental health. Dental problems can cause pain and discomfort. Bad breath medically called halitosis makes you anxious and depressive and causes social embarrassment. Bad breath is also linked to poor digestion. Now that you know how important your oral hygiene is let us tell you some pointers to remember to maintain the same. We will also tell you some prominent brushing techniques. Regular dental checkups are most vital. They will not only maintain your oral health but also help in early detection of any systemic health problems. A visit to dentists is of great benefit as they can often spot signs of health conditions before they become severe. To maintain good oral health, brush your teeth twice daily with a fluoride containing toothpaste. Make sure to use a soft bristled toothbrush. Try to replace your toothbrush every three months. Brushing also requires a greater technique. Let us tell you some of them. First and most common is base or circular brushing technique, where you hold your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle to your gums. Then gently brush back and forth in short and wide strokes. This is the most popular form that helps to remove plaque from below the gum line. In the second technique, place your brush at a 45 degree angle to your gums, but this time you use small circular motion. This technique is called Stillman's brushing technique, suitable for people with sensitive gums. The third technique is called vertical brushing technique, which is a good option for people with braces. In here, you hold your toothbrush vertically and brush up and down in short strokes, which helps to remove plaque from all ends. The last technique we would suggest is the circular brushing technique. In this one you hold your toothbrush at a 90 degree angle to your teeth and brush in small, circular motions. This can be the most effective technique to remove plaques, but it is going to be little more abrasive for your teeth. Also floss regularly. Flossing regularly helps to remove plaque and food particles in between your teeth. If plaque is not removed it can harden into tartar, that can lead to decaying and gum disease. You should also clean your tongue while brushing. The tongue is home to a large number of bacteria, which can cause bad breath and other oral health problems. People use a toothbrush, but we recommend a tongue scraper. It simply helps to scrape the entire surface of the tongue. 
We also suggest to limit your sugary foods intake as sugar serves as a breeding ground for bacteria, causing infections. So, wasn't that eye-opening for you? Remember that taking care of your teeth and gums goes way beyond just preventing cavities. It can have a significant impact on our general health in total. But wait! It doesn't just stop there. A healthy diet also plays a vital role in maintaining optimal oral health. Foods rich in nutrients like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and dairy products provide essential vitamins and minerals that support strong teeth and gums. Exercise also contributes in a way to oral health. Studies have shown that regular physical activity can lower the risk of gum disease by improving circulation that reduces inflammation and supports a healthier mouth. Oral health serves as a reflection of our overall well-being. ANS by making your dental hygiene a priority, adopting a healthy and balanced diet, and indulging in physical exercise to stay active, we can take a positive step toward maintaining a beautiful smile as well as a healthy body. A healthy smile leads to a healthy body. We will see you soon again. Until then, take care and keep smiling. Thanks for watching.